Jason. Guys, we are at the pointy end of the evening. We've got one more rack for you, and he's an absolute killer. You guys are going to love him. Probably seen him on TV a thousand times. You love him, I love him. Put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, Ty here. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tahir, background Turkish. Anyone Turkish here tonight? <laughs> oh my God, just me? Oh wow, feels like Gallipoli again. <laughs> what, too soon, too soon? I can do it, I was born in Turkey. My grandfather actually fought on um, Anzac Bridge. Uh, <laughs> in Piemont, in Piemont. Um, somebody cut him off as a road rage center, that's what happened. He was in his lane, he was just sticking to don't worry about it, it was a long story, but this is fun. This is fun, thank you so much. Um, this is fun, like we need more fun and comedy in our lives, don't you think? Thanks for coming out and, and like this is a great festival, Sydney Comedy Festival. And people have been getting stressed last couple of years, so stressed. They've been doing that Chinese thing with the needles, what do you call it? Um, heroin, heroin. And, um, <laughs> You think we rehearsed? I don't know her at all. Well done, thank you. It's perfect timing, it's just fun, fun like that. And like, tell you what I'm sick of? I'm sick of Zoom. Anyone sick of Zoom? Does anyone with me? I've got a few people. Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, thank you. We're tired of Zoom. To me, Zoom is like a modern day seance. Janice, are you there? Janice, we can't see you. We've lost Janice. See what I did last week, I did some work at Melbourne, like in some fashion, fashion industry. I was hosting some modelling and, and for a whole week, like, you know, doing some comedy, comedy and hosting and watching the models on the catwalk was weird. What a bizarre industry, pretentious crowd. Like, have you seen models? They go, these ones are supermodels. So really, how can you tell? How, can, how do we just label these girls supermodels? Oh, they're different, they remember to turn back. <laughs> But down there are one way. Really, yeah. Not like the dumb ones, the unlettered ones. They just keep walking off. Like, <laughs> it's a stupid thing. But I'm watching the men modelling. It's even funnier. Have you seen male models? Funniest thing ever. It's a very easy job, that one, to me. To be a male model, all you have to do is pretend like you're lost. That's the key. <laughs> or you're looking for something or somebody in the audience. I'll demonstrate it because I'm, I'm watching these guys the whole week. I'll demonstrate Just pretend I'm a model, right? Lovely. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you. I'll tell you what I heard, which shocked me at this thing, right? Um, and there's well, the whole pretentious, horrible crowd. Uh, and one guy, like, and all the people, they look beautiful to me, they're all good looking, like guys and girls. But one guy sees a girl, he goes, Oh, look at her, she's that ugly. I wouldn't touch her with a 10 foot pole, which is terrible, right? Terrible thing to say. I've ever heard this. And this expression stayed in my head for days and days. Now, Langerman, have you heard of this expression? I wouldn't touch it with a 10 foot pole. Why do you say this for? Like, as a comedian, it's just stayed in my head. I go, why? D the saying when you break it down doesn't make sense. I mean, who would carry a pole? <laughs> That's 10 foot. That's like, why is the stage? Like, I mean, I would never do that. Would you do that? Let's go out tonight. I got my phone, wallet, cash. Hey, bring the pole. <laughs> bring the 10 foot pole. Why? Just in case we see ugly girls. And when you see one, don't touch her with it. <laughs> That's my point. Does it make sense when someone when you hear someone say that? Like, stop them. Stop them with those horrible sayings. This is a, like June. I like to tell you what happened. Like, quick story. Um, my missus, she put shelves up everywhere. Shelves. Because females get busy. Busy. I was happy to relax, but she was busy. Walked in the main bedroom. Shelves everywhere. All different heights. <laughs> shelves, 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 shelves. Like that. All different heights. 
on that shelf she put like soft animals, toys and candles and other prizes. And I'm thinking this is very weird. Very weird. Anyway, we got it on. We did our business. Thank you very much. <laughs> Afterwards I said, how was I? She said, you were shit. You can have anything from the bottom shelf. I took my prize, I said, give me another go. <laughs> Tahir's my real name, Tahir, T-A-H-I-R. I say that just in case anybody from TikTok is watching. Um, this is like, I didn't know this has been recorded for TikTok. I've got like no following on TikTok at all. Um, I'm more on Facebook and Instagram, but uh, I don't know if there's like teenagers, hey, oh my God, get to bed, um, piss off. Um, <laughs> who knows who's watching, but like, it's my original name, it's unusual. When you have an unusual name like that in Australia, like people ask you dumb questions, they what's your name, Tahir? Really? Is that your real name? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was Shane, I changed it. <laughs> well, they go, oh, Tahir, that's a bit unusual. That's a name you don't hear every day. I do. <laughs> I'm used to I just heard it like five minutes ago. I just, oh, that's my name, I just walked out. And do you have a good name? Do you have a regular name? Douglas. Douglas, I love Douglas. Regal, good name, very good name. I love it. You, sir? Don. Don, Don is classic. <laughs> Don's a classic name, beautiful name. I love these names, you guys are lucky. You, sir? Costa. Costa, no, Costa's a shit name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, Costa. I'm just relaxed. Oh my god! It's a good name, good name. Like this, your lovely wife, like this partner. Good, good. Like Costa, did you? Was that like? Did you say, "Hey, my name's Costa," and then you said, "Yeah, that's a sexy name." I'm, I'm, I'm... yeah. You did. <laughs> no, because he was saying no, no, like that. Good luck, good luck. Anyway, good for you. <laughs> Costa. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> Before this job, like, uh, um, and look, you've had it like a, a great night already. Value, I know this sort of crowd is a value searching crowd. <laughs> Where can we see a show with seven, eight acts? The best of, that's the ticket, one part. I'm not gonna watch one act, thank, congratulations for that <laughs> choice. I love this sort of tight ass audiences I play with. <laughs> oh, we watched the festival, We're not, we don't have to see anybody, that no, does make good for you. You make your own choices, a good, good food. Um, but I was a teacher, I was a teacher before this job, um, many years ago, and I do like comedy and acting. Acting, not so, look, I love stand-up comedy, that's my passion, right? Um, acting has just come as a, as a result of it, but teaching, oh my God, are there any teachers here? Yeah. That's a noble profession. Oh, Costa's part as a high school, primary, what's? I'm a primary school teacher. Primary, oh, you're not a real teacher. <laughs> I'm, I'm just We're friends, I'm just joking. I'm just, I'm just joking, you teach all the subjects, high school. Like, well, I'm English history and drama trained, right? My first school, out of uni, get this, Bankstown Boys High School. <laughs> yeah, I know, someone's going, ooh, he's alive. <laughs> People are watching now, I'm here, oh my God, where's Bankstown? Go, if you're watching on like, yeah, TikTok, go. It's a beautiful suburb. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, it's beautiful, there's, a boat, there's an ocean. Um, <laughs> It was a notion, it got knocked off. Um, <laughs> it's in someone's backyard with a tarpaulin. <laughs> I mean, we don't know, no one knows where it is, we're still searching. <laughs> but it's 99% multicultural like the school, Bankstown Boys High School, my first as a t casual teacher, I'll never forget it. 99%, I didn't know. Finish uni, go there, first day as a casual teacher. The, the kids walking, the, the boys walked to my class, right? They looked at me, I looked at them. They looked at me and they said, Oh my God, like, I swear, like, are you the teacher? I can't believe it, like. What are you gonna teach us, like, oh my God, like, what are you gonna teach us? I swear, like, look at you, like, well, like what, what are you gonna teach us? <laughs> well, English for a start. <laughs> and you can back me up, right? You can back me up when you do, like, casual teaching in Australia. No other country has a system, right? Casual teaching in Australia. Did you know this? You ready for the fun fact? You teach subjects you're not even trained in. <laughs> Oh my God, no other country has, has this sort of system. I'm English and drama trained, right? What am I teaching at Bankstown, boys? Maths! <laughs> How did this even happen? All right, boys, today we're gonna learn some maths. Now it takes nine men six hours to dig a hole. <laughs> How long would it take three men to dig a hole? I swear, like, oh my God, like, I didn't get it. 
I shall repeat myself. <laughs> it takes nine men six hours to dig a hole. How long would it take three men to dig a hole? You're like, I didn't get it. The other guys already dig the hole. <laughs> okay, the, your value is coming to an end. <laughs> yeah, your value has been brilliant. You've been a brilliant crowd. Thank you. I don't know where you've come from, but thank you so much. And obviously, I don't live in Banks and now. Uh, I've moved away. Um, you know, successful comedian, and um, I, I'm, I'm in Punch Bowl. Um, <laughs> Next year's a good year, Lakemba, here I come. Uh, <laughs> uh, so good to be back, like, ladies and gentlemen, like, with, with, the, um, you know, with the live industry. So like, thank you so much for turning up to the live comedy and supporting Sydney Comedy Festival. It's one, I, always, I love the Sydney Comedy Festival. It's one of my favourites. And because you know, we were in lockdown, our industry was shut. First it shut down and last to open up. And during the, um, the homeschooling was a nightmare. Anybody went through homeschooling? No, absolute nightmare. And I'll tell you why. I struggle with the questions. <laughs> I didn't know. I turned up. Help your son. It's a maths question. Again. <laughs> Here's a question. Ready? Oh, yeah, I can help. It's, it's primary school. I can help with the maths. What shape is a trapezoid? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was stumped. Don, you're very. Do you, do you know what shape a trapezoid is? Even you don't know. Do you know what shape? A trapezoid. What shape is it? A trapezoid. A trapezoid. What? Well, you can't write that answer. It's got to be a specific answer. Costa, surely you, you look. That's my point, ladies. Nobody knows what shape a trapezoid, and it doesn't even matter. That's my point. Nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> it's not that important ever in your lives. It's never going to like, say in a job interview, before you give the job, have a look at the window, show me what shape is a trapezoid. <laughs> Those big arches for McDonald's? No, no, it's not that it. You don't get the job, sorry. Um, so, like, yeah, homeschool was like, so industry back open, and, and, and while I was home for months and months, like most other comedians, um, the kids were home, and my missus said, we need to spice up our sex life. I said, what? What do you mean? She, so, she's ordering stuff from online, crazily. She ordered female crutchless undies. You know what that is? <laughs> Do you? Honey devil, you. He knows. Costa? <laughs> Don, you've been around. Surely you know Don. <laughs> Even you don't know. I didn't know either. I didn't know either, Don. I'm with you. Like, the, let me explain if you don't know. The female undies with this bit here, missing. Missing! <laughs> I have never seen this sort of shit before in my life. Right? <laughs> She's got him in a bedroom, nothing but that on to surprise me. Spice it up. I walk in. <laughs> She's laying there. Hey, do you want some of this? I'm like, no. <laughs> Look what it's done to your undies. <laughs> Too much? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. Support all the comedians at the Sydney Comedy Festival. See you again. My name is Tahir.